You know, something I like about filming it at the Edge Hill Cafe, besides that the environment is really a part of our daily lives, I and mean, artists and managers and record labels are always in and out through the doors, and uh, and uh, you know it's it's a place songwriters meet before and, and during their appointments. And but I I like it because to me music is not always. Uh, it's not always happening in just in the in the bar scene. You know, the the best platform isn't always, you know, after midnight in a a loud honky tonk. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's the it's that quiet little difference that a coffee shop brings at six o'clock in the evening, mm -hmm. and uh, a songwriter and and uh, and a story being told. I, I just feel like that. The Edge Hill Cafe to me is uh, is just a, a a very real. It's it's like a set from a television show, and yet it's not. It's it's very real. Mm -hmm. It is in fact our coffee shop. It's like a family over there, and you know they they're so supportive of music and the industry and the people that come in and out of there. It's just uh, it seems like a perfect fit. Kind of like it's like singing songs in your living room, really. In a way, the Bluebird Cafe, you know, is is very well branded with. You know, some twenty odd, thirty years of of uh, great songwriters having graced that stage, mm -hmm. and yet uh, in Nashville there are just so many wonderful little venues, bars, hotel bars, coffee shops, pizza joints. Mm -hmm. I mean, where where singers and and songwriters, storytellers all gather mm -hmm. and and share their latest creations. We've we've uh, we've found the perfect little uh, backdrop. To sure. our 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 songwriters. Uh, well, it's more than just a performance venue. It's it's a place where people go in all day. Yeah. And do a multitude of things. What in the round on the row is is aiming to do is not just catch the song, which is relatively standard. You know, the song caught on film. Sure. But in this case, you're catching the environment too. You're catching. You know the guy, the barista. You know Travis making you a coffee. You're mm -hmm. catching Philip, the owner, cleaning up before the show begins. You're you're really like, you're you're, there. you're, you're on the set of Frasier or Friends or yeah. something. You know. Well, and I think that makes it different. You know what we're doing within the round on the row. It's not just your, you know, a static camera looking at the stage with three songwriters singing songs. There's you're capturing all of all of that environment. Plus you're doing it. You know, I think we're stepping it up a notch based on. What you typically see on the on the internet, yeah, uh, I, I multiple would, cameras, and you know we're really trying to make something special out of this. In a way, we're treating the art to uh, an environment and a uh, a production value that is uh, higher than the standard currently on the internet. Mm -hmm. I think we're Definitely. we're kicking it up and saying, you know, we know that the internet platform is there. We know that we've arrived at an age when you can put your music there, but isn't it time that it looks like the kind of television we're used to watching on, on, at home on networks. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. This portion of our show is brought to you by our friends at Ariat Boots. <laughs>